Hi, this is James Patterson, and I wanted to say thank you to all the club members who have read my books over the years. I hope you're enjoying my latest. What I've learned about writing bestsellers, make every page its own thriller. Everybody works so hard these days. You go to work, you raise your kids, and on top of that, you have to take care of your home. People need to relax to escape. People need to be entertained. I try to make sure that something exciting is always happening in my novels. In fact, if I'm not thrilled by the end of the page, the page gets scrapped. Do what you love, no matter what. I had an English teacher in high school who told me to quit writing right then and there. My first novel, The Thomas Berriman Number, was turned down by 37 publishers. Then it won an Edgar Award. Millions of readers love my books and can't wait for the next one. I get to interact with millions of my fans on Facebook or meet them at readings. Knowing that my books make them happy makes me happy. I'm so glad I didn't give up writing because of one teacher's comment. And I didn't give up pushing my first book until it was accepted by a publisher. Today, I've got a job that I don't even really think of as a job. It's been an incredible ride, and the ride continues. Trust your gut, but surround yourself with intelligent people who you respect. I know what I want in all my books. It's my way or the highway. I know who my readers are and how to engage them, how to scare them, how to get people to feel for the characters, how to make my readers laugh. When working with people, my editor, a co-writer, people in Hollywood, I found that there's no better way to get the best work possible than to be working with those you actually like. I'm allergic to writer's block. Sometimes it's better to keep moving, keep trying new things, rather than get stuck on a particular scene for months on end. Each time I research a novel, develop the characters, inject the twists and turns, it's a great thrill but it doesn't always go perfectly. If I get stuck on a scene, sometimes I ditch it, start something new. In fact, I told some fans to not even bother finishing Season of the Machete. It's pretty gruesome, not my best. But here are some of my favorites. Along Came a Spider, Honeymoon, Maximum Ride the Angel Experiment, Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life, and a novel that's coming out next year, Guilty Wives. It's our responsibility as parents to get our kids to read. This one is big, huge. We can't wait for teachers or librarians or their peers to do it. It's our job to get our kids reading, not the teachers. We need to show them that it's fun and that it's cool and give them books that will excite them. My son Jack didn't love reading at first. The summer he was eight, my wife Sue and I said, you have to read every day. You don't have to mow the lawn, but you do have to read. By the end of the summer, he'd read six or seven books, and most of them he loved. If parents took a more active role in their kids' reading habits, kids' reading scores would soar, they'd discover a whole new form of entertainment, and generally, have more doors open for them in life. It's true. What I have yet to accomplish. Well, there are lots of things I still haven't accomplished. Haven't made it to the NBA, haven't been in the Olympics, haven't made it to the Masters, but I do have a lot of new ideas for books. A binder full of scraps of ideas and notes, actually. And as long as people want to read my books, I'll keep writing. I have plans for a few new young adult series, and after working with Lisa Marklin on The Postcard Killers, I'd love to keep collaborating with best-selling authors from other countries. It's really a lot of fun, and I thought the book turned out really, really well. I'd love to see more of my books make it to the big screen. I recently stopped by the set of I, Alex Cross and saw Tyler Perry's take on Alex Cross. What an actor he's gonna blow people's minds in this movie. 
He wears this new role as a detective action star like a glove. It was great to see what's happening on the whole set and to meet the cast and crew. I also have movies in the works for Maximum Ride and Witch and Wizard. And who knows what'll come next. I would love my legacy to be this. James Patterson got kids reading. I've heard it from fans at readings and signings. You got my son reading. You got my daughter reading. You got my whole class reading. This is the best thing that has happened in my entire career. I'm coming out with some more young adult series soon, and hopefully that will get even more kids into books. I have a website to get more kids reading as well, and not just my books, but all the best books out there. The site is called Read Kid or Read. That's readkidorread.com. Give it a look.